Hello everyone, welcome to the Software Coding Tutorials channel. My name is Tommy. Today I will be discussing about the Docker desktop uh, software um, and what you can do with Docker. And um, by definition, uh, Docker desktop uh, is an application for Mac OS and Windows machines for building and sharing of containerized application and microservices. Docker delivers the speed, choice, and security you need for designing, delivering containerized application on your desktop. So, um, Docker also provides the ability to package and run an application in a loosely isolated environment called a container. The isolation and security allows you to run many containers simultaneously, simultaneously on a given host. You can run Docker containers wooden host machines that are actually virtual machines. So for many of you, if you're not familiar with um, VMware, um, you know what what this is is pretty similar to VMware, where you can create um, a virtual machine from from a, a, a for Linux or for uh, Windows, and uh, but with Docker, the resource that's taking up it's a lot less. Uh, so in terms of hard drive space and memory, um, it's not very heavy. Um, whereas with VMware, um, it's very intensive. So today's goal is to show you how to install Docker Desktop on a Windows 10 machine, and then explain to you what the requirements are. Then I'm gonna pull uh, a Docker container such as Fedora, Ubuntu and then setting it up and then run so I'll show you uh, pretty much um, some of the commands and uh, I hope that this will be an uh, enjoyable tutorial and so stay tuned okay so first and foremost you need to go to the docker.com slash products slash docker desktop page and download the latest version of docker desktop um, from my, my experience so far, um, you want to get the latest Windows 10 release. So if you want to go to Microsoft um, web website, and you can see the version number and then the the, all, the, the actual OS bill. And um, if you look at, um, look at uh, if you do Win version and Windows. You can see that I have 19041.508, which is uh, basically version 2004, and that was available in 2020 May of this year. Okay. Okay. So once um, Docker has been installed, you can click on Docker Desktop, and then go to Dashboard, and it shall show basically everything um, that was installed here so from general resources uh, I'm, I'm using what we call WSL integration um, and then docker engine command lines etc so this is just the, the setting page and um, I'm not gonna go through all this but uh, if you click on the cancel button here it's gonna go through here and show you all the containers that are being um, running so here I have uh, a container called Space Cowboy 1 which is a Ubuntu uh, version and I'm, I'm running currently running it so um, I can click on this and there is a uh, logs or you can see what's being um, executed here and then if you click on inspect it will show you um, it will review what the ports configuration that I'm using for this 
and the environmental path and then I can click on stats and it should show me my CPU usage the memory that's being used and how much information is written and what my network IOs are and I have the ability to stop it I can restart it you know I can even delete the uh, container so this is just basically a general idea what it looks like when you actually run it so after Docker has been running in the background you can open up a command prompt window and you can type in Docker search for um, a container so I, I like to search for Fedora so I would type docker search Fedora and it's going to go through the internet and find um, that image for you so you can see here Fedora it's uh, the official docker builds of Fedora there's 904 stars um, and this is the official release Okay. So, okay, so to pull the Fedora image from the internet, you just type in Docker pull and the name of the image. And it's using default, which is the latest version. going to take a couple minutes for it to pull the image So once the Fedora image is, is completely downloaded, you can do, um, let's do a clear first. Then you can say Docker images. And normally it takes a couple seconds to show. And you can see that there is a Fedora image here, the latest. Someone created this two months ago. 183 megabyte and this is the image ID okay so to run the Fedora image you can just type in docker run dash I or IT for interactive and then type in the image ID and then bin bash so I want to start um, this container using the bash shell. Okay, and if you do an ls dot dash ltr, you are um, in the uh, bash shell of the Fedora in. Fedora container. Okay, so when the Fedora container is being run, you can open up another DOS um, DOS window or command prompt and type in um, Docker PS to to look at the uh, processes Docker processes that are being run and here you can see the container ID the actual name of the image so this is our Fedora image that's being executed the uh, docker Fedora container um, is very lightweight and it doesn't have any commands uh, that we probably want so for example if I want to list a process I normally do a 
ps dash elf to show it to show the uh, process that's being run and I can't it doesn't really understand it so in, to install this uh, in a Fedora um, with this Fedora image you can type in dnf install proc ps dash y so that's dnf install proc ps dash y and you can see that it's doing all the updating okay so as soon as the prox process has been installed you can now type in ps dash elf and it shows should so show up now okay so here's another way of installing an, uh, an application so you can type in yum in Fedora uh, yum install like htop and I would click sorry except by pressing Y for yes and then I should be able to see a type in htop and you can see this is just listing the process in a um, Unix environment so Q to quit so by default whenever you update your container uh, with new application the uh, container doesn't automatically uh, save the actual data so you need to commit that so um, you would need to type in docker image uh, sorry docker commit the actual um, ID of the container right so in this case is this one here and then the new name so I'm gonna call this Tommy slash um, test image and I'm sorry I'm gonna type in Tommy Fedora version 1 and then press enter now it, it might take a while depending on how, on how large the um, the image that you download but here you can see that it's completed and it gives you this SHA-256 when it completes so type in docker images again and as you can see here you have uh, I have another version version and it's called um, Tommy slash Fedora version 1 and here's a new image ID 24 seconds ago and the size is 417 megabyte okay and to exit the um, the container you can type exit right here and I'll exit the container or if you decided to stop the container uh, you can basically type in docker container stop and the container ID so in this case is this guy and type in enter and it gives you this uh, hash and you can type in docker ps again and it's no longer there so also in my other window you can see that um, it types in exit automatically 
because it's no longer available for me to run okay so this tutorial was a, a quick one to show you what um, the docker desktop can do for you um, I'll probably have one or two more videos later on to show uh, uh, more information but for now uh, this is all the time um, I have so thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you next time